Hello, my name is Dr. David Wolf, and I want to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your Christmas season by sharing my Christmas story for 2020. I hope my words are an inspiration to you as you enjoy this very, very special season. Christmas is very enjoyable, isn't it? It's a great time to be with our friends, to go out to eat, have breakfast, do shopping, wrapping, watch the kids open their presents, and of course, go to Christmas Eve service. All those things make this holiday season so, so special. But unfortunately, because of COVID-19, a lot of these things won't be happening this year, will they? We probably won't be able to do much shopping. We probably won't be able to be with all our families. And for sure, we will not be able to be with our friends and have those special dinners and breakfasts that we've so much enjoyed uh, in the past. So you might wanna think, why is this happening? Why would God take the great joy out of the birth of his son, Jesus Christ, the Messiah? Why would God allow this to happen? And you may even wanna think that you might wanna have doubt. Is Jesus really the Messiah? Because if he is, why are so many bad things happening uh, in the world? I too have had those thoughts. Recently I had um, major surgery and I thought the surgery was gonna be very easy. And I thought I would go home in a day. But unfortunately, I was in the hospital for seven days. It's a lot more complicated than I had anticipated. And I too started doubting, where is Jesus? Why isn't he helping me? I would like to share a story with you that many of you might know uh, about John the Baptist. John the Baptist, as you know, was Jesus' cousin. Elizabeth and uh, Mary were pregnant both about the same time. So John the Baptist was called the forerunner. He was to prepare the world for the Messiah. John the Baptist's uh, ministry was very profound in that time. He baptized many, many people, but his one main requirement was that you had to repent of your sins. If the person did not do that, John the Baptist would not baptize them. And then it was time for Jesus. Jesus wanted John the Baptist to baptize him. John the Baptist says, Jesus, I'm not worthy of this cause. And Jesus said, yes, you are. Please baptize me. And John the Baptist did. There are many people at that time thought maybe John the Baptist was the Messiah because he had such a great following. But John the Baptist, as you know, was imprisoned. And during the time he was in prison, he started having doubt. If Jesus is really the Messiah, why am I in prison? Why can't I still be the forerunner? Why can't I still do baptism? So is Jesus really the Messiah? I mean, just think about that. John the Baptist, the person that God wanted to be the forerunner to Jesus, was now doubting whether he was the Messiah or not, Jesus Christ. John the Baptist was so concerned that when he was in prison, he sent his disciples to see Jesus. And when John the Baptist's disciples got to Jesus, they said, Jesus, John the Baptist wants to know if you are really the Messiah. Jesus looked at his disciples and said, look at the people that I've helped. 
Look at the blind now that can see. Look at the leopards who do not have leprosy. Look at the lame who are now walking. So you go back and tell John the Baptist that you saw these things. You saw those things that Jesus did and only Jesus the Messiah could do something of that nature. So John the Baptist's disciples did go back to John and they told him all these things. And he too believed again that Jesus was the Messiah before he was beheaded. So the reason I'm sharing this story with you on this Christmas season is that so many of us today have doubts. Why would Jesus, if he is the Messiah, would allow people to die in intensive care units in our hospitals in America and nobody could be there holding their hand? Why would he allow people to lose their businesses and go bankrupt? Why would, why would we allow young children to struggle in school for online education? People are just doubting today in this great time of the pandemic why this is happening, and some are even doubting if Jesus is the Messiah. But friends, I wanna tell you that it's okay to doubt. It's okay to wander in your deepest moments, whether life is worth living. It's okay to wander sometime if Jesus is really by your side. Because I think that's why the Bible says the story of John the Baptist. Because if John the Baptist can doubt, so can you and I. But the truth of the story is that this Christmas season, like all Christmas seasons, tells all people that Jesus Christ was born from the Virgin Mary. God sent his only son to all of us so we would have hope and we would have eternal life. So friends, it's up to you and me to reach out and hold his hand. It's up to you and me to believe that Christmas is real, that Jesus was born in a manger, and he walked the world just like you and I do, and he surfaced the most horrendous death, a crucifixion. So you and I, you and I could be saved. So you and I could have hope in a world that sometimes is not fair. And you and I can know that when we die, we're going to heaven. So I just hope that this Christmas season that even though you might be depressed, you might have some doubt that you realize a little boy was born and that little boy was Jesus Christ, the Messiah. I would like to read from you Luke 7, 20 to 23, and listen to these words written by Luke. When the man, men came to Jesus, they said, John the Baptist sent us to you to ask, 
are you the one who was to come or should we expect someone else? Go back and report to John what you have seen and learned. The blind retrieved sight, the lame walked, those who have leprosy are cured, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the good news is proclaimed to the poor. Blessed is the man who does not fall away on account of me. So my message to you this Christmas season is that it's okay to doubt. But my real message is that Jesus Christ was born over 2,000 years ago. God sent his only son here so you and I would have hope. So you and I would know that we're never alone. So you and I would know that God has a plan for our life. Sometimes it may not be the plan that you might expect, but it is the right plan. And this Christmas season, I want you to realize that no matter how hard life gets, that Jesus is there and that there is eternal life. So friends, I hope this message has been a benefit to you during this time of the pandemic because there should be nothing that takes away the joy of this Christmas season because there's never been any miracle in the world that has ever, ever matched the birth of Jesus Christ from his mother, the Virgin Mary. So Merry Christmas, my friends. God bless you all.